Hello, everyone. Welcome to Chinese Grammar Simplified. To begin our lesson today, let's imagine that you are a world-famous master chef. One Friday morning, you get an email from your best friend Jackie Chan saying that he is bringing his friends from China to visit you for a traditional American dinner. Although it's a bit short notice, as a great chef, you still want to make sure that they all get something they will enjoy. Would the guests like hamburgers or pizza? Will they prefer to drink milk or juice? How about desserts, pie, or cake? So many choices. I think it would be wise to call Jackie and get some ideas. But how do you ask these questions in Chinese? In the next couple of minutes, let's learn about different ways of saying "or" in Chinese. There are many words to express "or" in Chinese. The most common two are "或者" and "还是." Many beginning students tend to mix up these two words. Actually, they are quite different. As "or" "或者" should only be used in statements. While "hai shi" should only be used in questions. So in our case, if you want to ask the question, "Do they want to have hamburgers or pizza?", we will use the question word "hai shi" to express "or." This question will be built as "They want to have hamburgers, hai shi, pizza." And in Chinese, "Tamen xiang chi hanbao bao hai shi pizza bing." This word order is a little awkward for English speakers because in Chinese, questions and statements are put together in the same structure as explained in other videos. But I assure you that with practice, you'll get comfortable over time. If Jackie answers you with a statement, "They don't want to eat hamburgers or pizza," he will probably use the word "或者" to express the meaning of "or." With the Chinese sentence structure, the statement will be, "They don't want to eat hamburgers or pizza." Or in Chinese, "They don't want to eat hamburgers or pizza." Now, with these rules in mind, how would you ask the questions? Do they want to drink milk or juice? And do they like pies or cakes? You can pause here and come up with your own answers. Okay, as you probably figured out, because we want to ask questions, we still need to use the word 还是 So the question will be: They want to drink milk, 还是 juice, or in Chinese, 他们想喝牛奶还是果汁 And they like pies, 还是 cakes, or in Chinese, 他们喜欢派还是蛋糕 Did you get them right? Now imagine if Jackie says, "They don't like milk or juice, but they like champagne or wine. They don't like pie or cake, but they love donuts or pancakes." Can you think of the proper way of saying these statements in Chinese? Pause the video if you want to take a second. Okay, I'm sure you know that 或者 is what we need here. So the sentences will be, "They don't like milk, 或者 juice." But they like champagne, 或者 wine. They don't like pie, 或者 cake. But they love donuts, 或者 pancakes. In Chinese, they are. 他们不喜欢牛奶或者果汁，可是他们喜欢香槟酒或者葡萄酒。他们不喜欢派或者蛋糕。可是他们爱甜甜圈或者松饼。Now you know what these picky Chinese guests like and don't like. I'm sure that you'll cook a great meal for them. In summary, now you understand the difference between 或者 and 还是 You can probably see why it could be confusing to Chinese people if you misuse them. For example, Jackie 喜欢猫还是狗 is a question, meaning. Does Jackie like cats or dogs? Jackie 喜欢猫或者狗 is a statement, meaning Jackie likes either cats or dogs. I hope you find this video helpful. And if you have any questions about any particular grammar patterns and you would like more explanation, please leave a comment below. 
For customized Chinese lessons, reach me at TwinCitiesChineseTutor.us.